Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I know we are going to be tackling Rainbow Dash again. I think by far this is the most requested doll after I initially posted the original Rainbow Dash video. And everyone wanted me to make a female canon version of Rainbow Dash. So here we go. So for the canon Rainbow Dash, I wanted to play off with a lot of angles and a lot of stronger silhouettes, so I drew inspiration from the 80s like the original one, and I gave her stronger shoulders, it's a lot more sharper now, and I also wanted to incorporate uh, Mercy's wings in there somehow, which made the wings a lot more sharper and edgier, and obviously she will still have the harem pants like the original Rainbow Dash doll that I made, so these are just some of the elements that I kind of drew inspiration from. So this is the sketch and the look that I came up with for Rainbow Dash, and I really, 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 really like the silhouette that I gave her. It's very strong. It has some sporty elements to it, obviously, because of the texture of the fabric that we're going to use. And I really, really love the high ponytail for some reason. I wanted to give her such a dramatic look by exaggerating her shoulders, her ponytail, her legs. I want her to be really, really tall. And in the end, I think she's the tallest out of everyone which is crazy because Applejack is pretty tall too. I really really like the look of this sketch and how 80s it is pretty much. Um, so I think it's gonna be fun. So let's go ahead and start with the doll. So I'm actually going to be using Belle's head from Hasbro for this custom. So yes, it's going to be a hybrid with an Ever After High body. I just love Belle's head specifically just because of her features. They're very very defined and I'm really into that. As you can see, I just took off all of her hair, and now I'm going to go ahead and erase her factory paint with acetone. I'm actually going to be rebooting this doll too, so I'm just going to go ahead and paint a base paint for her scalp. Because I don't want her ponytail to be too thick, I'm just going to reroute the perimeter of her head. Just so we can cover the entire head, I'm actually going to leave the middle part alone because we're going to glue the bangs later. Then I'm just taking my Fabri-Tac and I'm just gonna squeeze it inside her head just to make sure that all of the strands will be secured. Then I use two pet brushes, one plastic and one metal. The plastic one pretty much unravels it, and then the metal one makes it more fine and more fluffy, actually. Then I take section by section and I straighten out all of the hair wefts in low heat setting. In doll making, there's a lot of things that are satisfying, and this is one of them. <laughs> Then I'm actually going to be using Raven Queen's body. I know there is such a heavy skin difference. All of her skin is going to be covered anyway, literally, till her fingertips, so it really doesn't matter. Then because I want her to be Amazonian tall, I will be cutting out her thighs and also her calves just to evenly make it really really tall and long. And as you can see, I have the wire armature here and a before and after of how tall she's going to be. And to make the armatures, I just use hot glue gun and some wires because hot glue gun dries really really fast and you don't have to be too impatient with it. I just use that to kind of put her back together. Then we will be taking the epoxy sculpt and that's when we're going to give her the flesh or the meat, I guess. <laughs> Try your best to blend it out and make it even. It's gonna be very hard to get it perfect. So in the end, even if it's lumpy or not perfect, that's when we take our sandpaper and we make everything smooth. And now it's time to color match. And I think I mixed four different colors in order to get the right shade of her skin tone. Obviously, it's not gonna be perfect, but I think it's still a pretty good match. And now I'm going to start with the face up. After priming it with MSC, I map out all of the features I want her to have. And for this one, I wanted her to have a more simplistic kind of eye shape, more angles obviously, and I still wanted to give her a slit brows, kind of like the original Rainbow Dash doll that I made. So yeah, it's just gonna be very fun and I want her to have a spunky look. 
I definitely wanted this doll to have more clean lines and more of a natural look. I know, we all have our own definition of natural. This is my definition of natural. And I still kind of wanted to emulate the face up that I did for the first Rainbow Dash. So yeah, this is kind of just like the feminine version of it. For her pupils, I didn't want it to be too black, so I mixed in a lot of purples in there as well. I take my white acrylic paint to give her scleras, her eye shines, and also the teeth. Usually when I want something to be really really opaque, like the whites of the eyes or the eyeliner, I go with acrylic paint because, obviously, it's the most opacity you'll ever have. And then I give her freckles. It's one of my favorite parts. I just love giving like the texture look on the skin. I don't usually do it on all of the dolls, but when I do and it calls for it, I have the most fun with it. Then I'm taking human false lashes, and this one is obviously so exaggerated and animated. I really wanted to exaggerate two eyelashes of hers, just so it looks like she's dashing off. Like when she's dashing, that's how her eyes is like looking. So I don't know, I thought it was kind of a cool idea on sketch. And after glossing her lips, we are finally done with a face up. For her outfit, I actually commissioned Doll Lux Designs from Instagram, and I'll put her link down below, and she made me the top and also the bottom. I obviously changed her height, so the pants that she made me does not fit, unfortunately. So that meant I had to make another one of myself. So I made this pattern, and as you can see, it's a lot more exaggerated. It looks bigger, obviously, and I'm actually going to make this high-waisted. I'm taking the same fabric that I used for the original Rainbow Dash doll, and I'm just going to cut two patterns from it. I actually stuffed the pants with tissue, and I also did that for her shoulder pads, just so that they would remain the shape that they are. I did not use cotton balls because they actually was like spreading around the pants, so I thought the tissue was a lot better. For her shoes, I got these sneakers from eBay, and obviously they are from Monster High, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a new paint job. I'm not entirely sure which character this belongs to in Monster High, but obviously for Rainbow Dash, she will be sporting some sneakers, and I thought this was perfect. I'm just gonna try and match the color scheme to her outfit, and I'm going to give the laces some rainbow color, and also give her some red bottoms, because why not? I cut out a lightning shade from a piece of fake leather, and I'm just gonna paint that to match her cutie mark, and we will be adding that to the sides of her sneakers. It looks super cool in the end. It looks like something Jeremy Scott would design, or it's very reminiscent of like Hermes from the mythology. So, um, yeah. I made a smaller lightning bowl to glue it on her torso. Although I like her midriff showing, the skin difference is just a little too drastic, so I'm actually going to give her a leather belt. I'm also swapping out her hands for Bunny Blanc's hands so that it looks like she has gloves on. Obviously, you can also paint it. I'm just drawing a rough draft of how I want the wings to look and the scale of it too, and I'm just going to trace that onto fake leather as well. The fake leather is a lot better than the foam that I originally used because this one is flexible by itself and it actually does not crack, which is great. I cut out a total of 24 pieces because these wings are individually going to be wired, and so we need to cover both back and also the front, obviously. So I'm just taking my glue gun to glue on the wire for the wings, and this will still remain very very flexible, which is great. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cover it up with another piece of the leather. So these wings will remain individually posable, which is great because you can open the wings or flap them, you can do so much. You should have a grand total of 12 individual pieces of the wings, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint all of this blue. I wanted to make Tank for Rainbow Dash because I didn't want her to be alone, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a new paint job, a little more true to Tank's official colors. 
I still wanted to retain the realistic color scheme of this turtle, obviously because it's not supposed to be a cartoony turtle anyway, but I just got some hints of Tank's official colors here and there. And last but not the least is her crowning glory. I have these remaining yarns from the original Rainbow Dash doll and I'm just gonna use that for her bangs. So I'm just taking my hot glue gun and I'm gluing it individually, kind of like a faux hawk. It actually looks like a rooster comb. <coughs> then I'm taking the eyebrow razor and I'm going to cut them individually. A lot of people are asking why I don't just use scissors. Well, scissors are too blunt when you cut hair with it. And I like the layered spiky look on hair usually. That's why I use a lot of the eyebrow razors or hair thinners. Then for the ponytail part, I ordered these individual rainbow extensions from Amazon and I'm just going to go ahead and roll them all together with glue gun to create a massive ponytail, obviously with the rainbow colors. It looks super cool and I like how whenever you manipulate the hair, obviously it will change the hair color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pin the hair piece onto her ponytail. Then I'm just taking the silver stud that I got from the dollar store and I'm using that for her earrings. After some final tweaking and we are done. Are you sure about this Rainbow Dash? I'm sure, and this time it will work. Be careful, Rainbow Dash. I know doing this is important, but you have to make sure you're safe too. Oh, hey there, YouTube audience. You're in for a treat. Rainbow Dash is about to perform something awesome. Okay, I think I'm ready. Good luck. We'll be here waiting. Whoa, look at him go. So fast. He's brighter than diamonds! That's our Rainbow Dash! Hey guys! I'm sorry I'm late! What did I miss? Rainbow Dash is about to perform the Sonic Rain Boom! Sonic Rain Boom? But he's done that so many times! Not Rain Boom, but Rain Boom! There's several O's there! Apparently, he's supposed to circle the Earth as fast as possible to engulf the entire universe with Rainbow. Hey, Twilight! I'm glad you made it! We're here for you, Rainbow Dash! I know you can do it! I'm a little nervous now that it's happening. Good luck, darling! Good luck! The show is about to start! I did it, you guys! I finally did it! A Sonic Wing Boom! You did it! I know you can do it! You did it! That was awesome! Party Cannons! That was amazing, Rainbow Dash! We definitely need to put that in the Canterlot Book of Records! Thank you guys so much! You guys are awesome! The cheers definitely helped! Now who is that? Don't say often. YouTube audience, here's the main event. What? Who? What's happening? 
Who are you? I'm guessing I'm you, but from a different world. You must have opened up portals to different worlds when you did the rain boom. Rain boom! I can probably reverse time and have everything back to normal, but I have to get my spell book and get Princess Celestia's approval. Whoever is watching this, I don't know if I should tell them why there's another rainbow dash, but I guess seeing them confused is kind of funny. Well, in the meantime, darling, we might as well get to know you. Um, how are we going to distinguish the two of them? Well, for now, if you guys want, you can call me by my nickname, Rainbow Blitz. Ooh! See? Now we have a canon Rainbow Dash and Rainbow Blitz, too. So cool! Well, then, let's pass the time with a good game of soccer. One-on-one. -on -one. Are you down? Ha! <laughs> are you kidding me? Of course I am. Oh, I should ask Big Macintosh to join us. Ah, darling, I just had my pedicures done. I'm sitting down for this. Can Tank go any faster? Oh, it's okay, Tank. Take as much time as you need. <laughs> you ready for this? You bet. 